from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, everyone. I'm Chris Long, a student meteorologist here at the Penn State Campus Weather Service. Happy Friday and happy Groundhog Day. In just a little bit, Mr. Punxsutawney Phil out there in Punxsutawney, he's going to come out of his, uh, his, little, his little hole there and he's going to tell us if we're going to have six more weeks of winter or spring. I don't know about you, but for me, I'm kind of hoping that he uh, doesn't see a shadow and we can have an early spring because that would be nice because it is cold right now. But I got to tell you, looking at the forecast, I'm not so sure that winter isn't going to persist in the next few weeks. So here today, if you are waking up and if you've been outside today, you know it is much cooler today. We'll get into that in a second. And as we look towards our weekend, we're going to see more of a dry Saturday and then a wintry Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Take a look at our current conditions right now. It is mostly cloudy here at Beaver Stadium. It's 18 degrees. Yeah, that's chilly. Uh, but, but that doesn't tell the full soap of the story because the wind currently right now is gusting to 12 miles an hour, making it feel like 5 outside. So if you are going outside this morning, it is chilly. Make sure you bundle up as you head to your morning classes uh, because, again, yeah, it's cold outside. Taking a look at our temperatures here across the state, let's play a game that we meteorologists like to call, Where's the Front? Well, it is right here. As you can see, areas to the east of the front, 32 in Philadelphia, 27 in Allentown. Yeah, it's not too bad there, but as we looked uh, farther to the west, it is chilly, 9 in Dubois, 13 in Pittsburgh, 9 in Johnstown. Uh, so yeah, that's where the front is. And as we take a look at our 24-hour temperature change, again, if you're waking up in the western part of the state and you're saying, whoa, it's way colder than it was yesterday, well, you're not wrong. It's 32 degrees colder than it was yesterday in Johnstown, 31 in Pittsburgh, 26 in Dubois, 13 degrees colder here in State College. So yeah, it is much cooler than it was yesterday. And as we take a look at our feel-like temperatures, yeah, that's cold. 8 below in Du Bois, 8 below in Bradford, 11 below in Johnstown, 5 here in State College. Yeah, it's chilly in western Pennsylvania. As we look at eastern Pennsylvania again, it is chilly, uh, but not quite as bad as it is out here in western Pennsylvania. That's where they're really feeling the cold this morning. Taking a look at our current satellite and radar, <clears throat> there are some snow showers moving through western, uh, central Pennsylvania, western Pennsylvania, even eastern Pennsylvania. Uh, the whole state's got uh, a couple, you know, snow showers uh, going on. Nothing more than just, uh, you know, some flurries to start your morning off. It won't really disrupt travel or anything. Just kind of a nuisance for your Friday morning. As we look towards our, our future weather here, you can say we're going to have a pretty clear day here in State College. It's going to be cold again, but um, there won't be, uh, the, the sun will be out, you know, that'll make it feel a little bit warmer. Uh, we might have uh, a snow shower or two here out in uh, western Pennsylvania. But again, nothing more than just a nuisance kind of uh, for your Friday. And then as we look towards Saturday, you can see the clouds are going to start to fill in. Yeah, here they come in western Pennsylvania. And that's associated with our, our, next, our next storm system. Eastern Pennsylvania, you'll stay pretty clear through uh, overnight into Saturday. But then into Sunday, that's when you'll see your cloud cover start to increase. So here's that next storm system that I was talking about. You can see this is uh, 1 a.m. on Saturday. <clears throat> here in uh, uh, Michigan, Indiana, parts of Ohio, you're seeing the snowfall. Then as we move overnight into Saturday, uh, overnight Saturday, sorry, and into uh, the day on Sunday, you can see the, that snow moves in here into uh, central Pennsylvania, and that's where we get kind of a trippy, tri oh, sorry, tricky forecast going. <clears throat> For northern Pennsylvania, it's going to be mostly snow as the temperatures are going to be below freezing the whole time, allowing us to have, you know, snow throughout the day, uh, allowing us to have accumulations of four or five, maybe six inches up here in uh, the northern parts of Pennsylvania. But here in the uh, central parts of Pennsylvania and the southern parts of Pennsylvania, that's where it gets a little tricky. You can see this one particular model has a rain snow line setting up right here, right? Right over top of Harrisburg. And this says the areas north will see snow and areas south will see rain. And I think with pretty good confidence, we can say the Philadelphia will see rain, York will see rain. Uh, but, but as we look towards here in central Pennsylvania, Harrisburg, State College, it's a little bit more tricky because depending on where that rain snow line sets up, which is basically the freezing line, uh, depending on where that sets up, we can see rain, snow, or a mix of both. Um, and that greatly you know, decreases or increases how much snow we'll get. So keep an eye out for that as we, um, as we wait to see where that rain snow line sets up. It's always hard to predict. It's more of just kind of where it sets up as the storm system moves in. And then as we move towards Monday, you can see maybe some residual snow showers in eastern Pennsylvania, but for the most part, it has moved out and we are on to our next week. Taking a look at today, our high, 19 degrees, uh, but don't let that fool you, it is cold outside. The winds gusting to 25 miles an hour are going to make it feel like the single digits in the teens for the, uh, the wind chill. So bundle up if you're headed outside. Tonight, again, cold, 9, burr, yeah, that's cold. 
the winds gusting 25 miles an hour are going to make yeah, the wind chills feel like they're probably below zero. So if you're headed out tonight, you know, make sure you bundle up because it is going to be a cold one. And as we look forward to tomorrow, our high a little bit warmer, 31. Uh, but again, those cold wind chills continue as we have our westerly winds from, uh, at 5 to 10 miles an hour, keeping the wind chill much cooler than the actual temperature. And here's our seven-day forecast. As you can see, there is a lot of stuff going on. So Sunday, that, that system's going to move through, giving us you know, a fair amount of, of snow or rain, depending on where it is. Our high of 37 here in State College allows the possibility that we might see some rain mixing in. It's a little too early to tell for that, so stay tuned. Uh, Monday, a little bit of snow maybe in the morning as that system moves out. And then Tuesday, we could actually see another storm coming, uh, our high of 34. So yeah, there's a chance of more snow on Tuesday. And for Wednesday, there's actually a, another storm. That's a third storm moving in, a uh, high of 39. So there could be some wintry mix associated with that. It's a little too early to tell. And then for Thursday, our high will be 25 again, cooler for this time of year. That's all I got for you. Have a great Friday.